Hey everybody, welcome to Giftology. I'm John Rulin. Have you ever noticed that your highest stakes customers, the people that are the most affluent and do the most business with you, have you ever noticed that they rarely are your greatest referral source? Wouldn't you love that to be the opposite? Stick around and we're gonna talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen of the business community, regardless of what we do or what industry we're in, we all have our target customers. And among that group of targets, we all have what I call bullseye customers. These are the best of the best, the Gordon Geckos, the, the mega partners that can give you hockey stick growth. They are the people we bend over backwards for, the people or the brands, if we're in B2B, that we literally could not live without. Now, not coincidentally, these people tend to be the most successful, the most affluent, and the most well-connected, yet, Sometimes getting a referral from them is like pulling teeth. Or sometimes we get a referral from these people and we wonder why it's not the same level as the person doing the referring. Almost like they're giving us a seat at the little kid table versus the adult table. Here are the first three reasons why this happens. First, the affluent understand the value of their relationships. It's no secret to them that their positive word of mouth is valued more than most. And part of why that's true is because they don't give out endorsements lightly. If they did, it would dilute trust among their network and they would eventually lose influence. Every successful person knows that relationships are their most valuable asset, which is why it's ridiculous how most companies and leaders are totally vanilla in how they show gratitude, which is the second reason why you don't get more referrals from your bullseye customers, because the affluent are used to people hounding them for their network. In fact, what many industries do is they use a carrot method of rewarding people for referrals, like a quid pro quo, scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You give me X amount of referrals and I'll give you a payout or a service offering or something I think you'll want. But this is the type of referral system that shows total lack of understanding of why people give referrals. It's not to make money or win prizes. Your richest customers have way more money than you anyway, which means they could buy any incentive that you'd ever think about giving them. No, people give referrals because they believe they're helping the other person, not you, the person they're referring you to. Think about it. If I refer you to the wealthiest person in my cell phone, it's because I think my cell phone buddy is going to benefit and think more of me. There's nothing you can do to incentivize that. There aren't any magic words you can say or any pressure you can apply so that I refer you to the best of my network. Tom Brady talks about how his kids get approached nonstop with cheesy gifts and offers and special treatment, all because they're trying to make a play and get to dad, which leads to the third reason why your affluent clients haven't drowned you in organic referrals. Because people introduce others to those they perceive to be on a similar level. And if you're providing incentives and asking nonstop or asking passive aggressively, they will perceive you as needy and low value and not on their level and not on the level of the people they could refer you to. I've said it a million times that if you're not getting referrals without asking, then you have a loyalty problem. And winning the loyalty of the most affluent requires you to behave like one of the most affluent, which if you didn't grow up in a certain way, in a certain neighborhood, or attend a certain school, you might have no idea how to do that. I grew up on a farm in Ohio. I had no ability to connect with the lawyers and the doctors around town, which is why I had to learn how to use strategic gifting to level up my brand. In other words, when I started gifting like a wealthy person, guess what? I started getting the attention of wealthy people. Now, it's not being shallow, that's being focused, just like you do with any marketing. This doesn't mean I was spending tens of thousands of dollars on watches and Gucci. In fact, quite the opposite, because I didn't have the money to spend. It meant I had to learn how to create gifting experiences that people of incredible means and incredible success had never seen before. And the fact that I was middle class farm boy only impressed them more. People do business with people that they like. And even though I was an underdog with my business acumen, I learned that I could compete with anybody on thoughtfulness. Because getting a king's ransom in referrals has a lot more to do with how people perceive you than just the service or the products that you provide. So instead of trying to ask or bribe your way into the good graces of your best customers, 
build a system that'll make you truly remarkable. A system that'll ensure your most affluent, influential clients see you as a partner and as an equal, and not just somebody begging to get to their network. Thank you.